What's up, everyone? My name is Tim Stoddart. Welcome to Tim Stodd's FM. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's date is October 26th. It's a Friday. I'm thinking about putting the date in the beginning of each one of my shows so that if I ever go back and recall on a show, I have some kind of like numerical ID for it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to share that thought process with you, with you guys this morning. <laughs> but clearly, I felt the need to. All right, so we got a short one this morning. Um, I sent the email out, what is it, about 53 minutes ago. And uh, already, I've gotten a handful of replies from people saying that this was exactly what they needed to hear this morning. And uh, hopefully, by the time you hear this podcast, it will be exactly what, it, what you needed to hear as well to get your day started and, and get your shit on track. So without further ado, today's episode is called What Courage Really Means. There are people less qualified than you doing the things that you want to do simply because they decided to believe in themselves, period. My sister sent me this quote on Instagram today. I admit, I don't spend a lot of time on Instagram and I don't read too much into these quote pictures, but there was something about these words that stuck with me. It made me wonder how many people out there are not doing what they love to do simply because they lack the belief. How many people haven't taken the leap to start their own business or chase their dream because they didn't decide to believe in themselves? How many beautiful artists, writers, or painters have their amazing work hidden from the world? How many people are afraid to show the world what they have done or what they have made? How many of us have convinced ourselves that we are failures before we even try? Starting a business and sharing your art takes courage. Marketing takes courage because you are sharing a piece of yourself. You are making yourself vulnerable. You are putting yourself out there for critique. People think that courage is some magical power that some of us are born with, but I don't think that's the case. Courage is a byproduct of failure. Courage is what accumulates after seeing consequences firsthand and discovering that failure wasn't the catastrophic loss you built it up to be. Courage comes from practice and training and routine. It comes from being afraid and then learning through experience that your fear was the worst part. Most of the time, the fear of what's going to happen is actually more terrifying than living through it. I can think of lots of examples of people who ended up successful simply because they said, fuck it, I'm going to give it a shot. So why can't you? Why aren't you going all in? What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the podcast. I invite you to reach out to me, talk to me directly. One of the cooler things about doing my podcast so far is that it's like a little bit more of a personal medium. When you listen to somebody's voice, uh, people kind of feel like they get to know you even a little bit more than when they read your writing. And so because of that, people have been like more willing to sort of shoot me a quick email or send me a message on Facebook or whatever. And it's been really cool just to kind of connect with people that I never even knew listened to me or, or read my work. And, uh, I really appreciate that. So if you do want to reach out, you can email me at tim, T-I-M, at stodzy.com. And as always, I invite you to check out my services. You can go to timstodz.com slash services to see if there's any potential there in working together. All right, fam. Happy Friday. Go win this day. We'll talk tomorrow. Peace.